everyone. My name is Courtney. I'm one of the licensed veterinary technicians on the neurology department at the Animal Medical Center. Today I'm going to teach you two techniques on how to express or empty your pet's bladder when they're unable to urinate on their own. These techniques can be used on dogs and cats, but today I'm demonstrating on a dog. We recommend doing a bladder expression about three times a day. The reason we recommend doing bladder expression three times a day is to decrease the risk of UTIs or urinary tract infections and to prevent what we call detrusoratne, which is chronic muscle stretching causing bladder dysfunction. If you can't do three times a day bladder expressions, it's fine to do it twice a day as long as your pet is not on subcutaneous fluids at home or high doses of steroids. It does help if you purchase some wee wee pads um, because it does help keep cleanup a little bit more convenient. It also helps if you don't wear long sleeves because you will most likely get urine on your arms and your hands. The first technique I'm gonna teach you is with your pets in a standing position on top of a wee wee pad. You're gonna have a hand on each side of your pet what you're gonna feel is put your hands on the belly area. You're gonna feel for the last rib. Don't be afraid to put a little pressure to feel for that last rib because some pets are a little fat, so you have to put a little pressure just to feel that last rib. Once you've found it, you're gonna slide your hands towards her, the tail to the really squishy area. Doing this part ensures that you're squeezing the abdomen and not the chest. You're gonna put a little pressure and try to feel for the bladder and try to feel how big or how large the size is. Keep your fingers together, not spread apart. Um, and when you keep your fingers together, you're gonna apply constant firm pressure to the center of the bladder so that you get urine. When you get that stream of urine, you wanna keep the pressure on that one area because the bladder will start to shrink and when the bladder starts to shrink, it'll be harder for you to find later. So it's usually best if you keep constant firm pressure on that one area once you get a stream of urine. Okay. All right. <laughs> now we bead. Okay. So um, with the standing technique, you can also do it one-handed. With your dominant hand, you're going to be cupping the abdomen. With your non-dominant hand, you'll be placing it along the spine as a backboard uh, for your dominant hand. You're gonna apply pressure to feel where and how large the bladder is in size. When you've found the bladder, you're gonna apply pressure by squeezing your hand in that duck mouth shape, constant and firm pressure until you get that stream of urine. I know, Sunny, it's okay. You're gonna squeeze and get urine, okay? When you get that constant stream of urine, you're going to want to keep that pressure on that area until the bladder is empty or is close to empty. An empty bladder feels like a saggy water balloon or a small ping pong size inside their body. The second technique you can do is with your pet laying on their side. I with one-handed uh, bladder expression. I would only recommend the one-handed technique on small dogs or cats. It's really hard to do a bladder expression on a large dog with one hand. Some pets do not like being on their side, so this technique may not be for you, but you're gonna use your dominant hand and cup the abdomen or belly area. With your non-dominant hand, you're gonna place it along their back as a backboard to uh, help your dominant hand. You're gonna apply pressure to find the bladder. When I've found the bladder, I'm gonna apply constant pressure by squeezing the bladder until I get urine. Okay. Once you get that stream of urine, you're gonna keep the pressure going on that one area so that you can empty the bladder or get as close to empty as you can. Don't get discouraged if you have a hard time doing bladder expressions. The more you do it, the easier it'll be. Some pets just don't tolerate doing expressions, so I would ask your uh, veterinarian for medications that'll help the bladder's natural ability to contract and relax the urethra, or other op options that will work for you and your pet the best. 
Don't be afraid to do a bladder expression. It's not painful, it's just uncomfortable. Thank you for watching and good luck on your bladder expressions. If you wanna learn more about pet health or the Animal Medical Center, you can go on our website, which is www.amcny.org.